Hey, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is a Google Nexus 5 smartphone, which uh, came out in 2013 and has a non-removable battery, which means that over time uh, that I've been using this, the battery capacity has sort of gotten lower and lower. So it's a phone that's never had great battery life to start with, but it's gotten even worse. Now, it's not designed to have the rear panel taken off or the battery replaced, but you can buy an aftermarket battery for not very much money. So I'm going to see if I can get a little bit more life out of this Nexus 5 by replacing the battery. So I've got a sort of little tool here that I'm going to use to try and go around the sides and see if I can open the case. All right, so now that's done, uh, it took a little bit longer than I was hoping, which is why I paused the video. Uh, so it took about 10, 12 minutes to sort of open up the case. One thing that uh, caught me a little bit off guard was the fact that there's a little bit of adhesive down here at the bottom holding things together. Uh, so in order not to break the case, you have to be really careful there. Uh, once it's all opened up, you can see that we've got access to the battery almost. We're going to need to remove this section over here. Um, and we can see that this is the right battery. It's the same BLT9 2300 milliamp hour. Uh, 8.74 watt hour uh, battery and so now what we need is a Phillips head screwdriver that can get at these tiny oops, tiny little screws move these guys out of the way there's one Now we should be able to put this plastic off. And then from here, we can unhook this guy that is holding the battery in place. Hopefully. Yeah. So now we have access to the battery. It seems like there's a little adhesive in there. All right, and then we just unhook you from here, and we're all good. Now time to put the new battery in, and attach it to the same connector. So let's do the attachment first, make sure that we get that right. Slides right into place. And 
then reverse the process. Put the plastic cover back on, put the screws back in, cover it up, and then turn it back on. All right, once uh, everything is done, you can just sort of close up the case again. It should be a lot easier than opening it in the first place because you can just snap pieces together. Get that by going around the edges. And when everything's finished and you've got everything put back together, uh, snapped in place, it should be a lot easier to put this back together than it is to take it apart. You should be able to press and hold the power button and watch it boot. Now, I haven't fully charged this battery. It had a little bit of charge when it came uh, from, from the store that I bought it from. Um, but if all goes according to plan, it's going to be able to last a little bit longer than it did using this year and a half old battery because it hasn't gone through as many charge cycles. So again, the Nexus 5 is a phone that was never known for having stellar battery life, but hopefully it'll get a little bit longer runtime with this new battery and uh, give me a little bit more life without having to replace the phone altogether. So that's a look at how to replace the battery in the Google Nexus 5. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and the Nexus 5 with a brand new battery.